Hi everyone and welcome to our video on some exam questions related to energy. Our first exam question states, energy resources can be renewable or non-renewable. Coal is a non-renewable energy resource, name two other non-renewable energy resources. Okay, so if coal is a non-renewable energy resource, two other examples of non-renewable energy resources, remember we will eventually run out of these resources, include oil and natural gas okay you could have also had nuclear energy that would be worth two marks now the next question states wind turbines are used to generate electricity the graph below shows how the power output of a wind turbine changes over one day okay so we have time on the x-axis and power on the y-axis it says a wind turbine does not generate electricity constantly for how many hours did the wind turbine generate no electricity so when the power output is zero that's the point at which it generates no electricity so when it's zero it's at this point over here that's 14 and then it's at this point which is 18 so 14 to 18 is four hours for one mark okay the next question states electrical power is transferred from power stations to the national grid what is the national grid is there a system of cables and pylons a system of cables and transformers a system of cables transformers and power stations now a national grid the national grid doesn't contain power stations a national grid is just the process of which the electricity takes it is a system of cables and transformers okay and that would be worth one mark an island has a large number of wind turbines and a coal-fired power station the island needs to use the electricity generated by the coal-fired power station at certain times choose one reason why so why would the island need to use something non-renewable at certain times it's because the wind output is very unpredictable as we saw in the graph before the wind turbine the wind power output is not constant sometimes it's really high and sometimes it's at zero so the points at which it at zero you will need to use the coal fired power station just to keep generating that electricity so the answer to this would be the power output of the wind turbines is unpredictable for one mark okay a wind turbine has an average power output of 0 0.6 megawatts a coal fired power station has a continuous power output of 1500 megawatts Calculate how many wind turbines would be needed to generate the same power output as one coal-fired power station. So the wind turbine has a power output of 0 0.6 megawatts. And a coal-fired power station has a power output of 1,500 megawatts. How many of these wind turbines would generate the same power as one coal-fired power station? So a coal-fired power station one of them is 1500 megawatts how many wind turbines would be needed to generate the same amount of electricity so to do that you would just do 1500 divided by 0 0.6 and you can use your calculator 1500 divided by 0 0.6 and that's going to give you an answer of 2500 wind turbines for two marks okay so the next question states it is important that scientists develop new energy resources choose one reason why and the answer to this is because most energy resources have a negative environmental effect so scientists need to develop new energy resources which have less negative environmental effects okay that would be worth four marks Next question, the image below shows a student before and after a bungee jump 
the bungee cord has an unstretched length of 20 meters so if we analyze this image we have the bridge over here the bungee cord is attached to the student and the river is at the bottom the student falls just above the river and then the bungee cord extends and then the student is pulled back up okay so for safety reasons it is important that the bungee cord used is appropriate for the student's weight give two reasons why well if a person is too heavy that falls into the river what's going to happen the bungee cord is going to snap okay so what's going to happen is the bungee cord is going to snap so that's one reason what's another reason so we have the river at the bottom and if the person's too heavy then what's going to happen the bungee cord may not snap but it may extend too much it may extend too much and the person might end up falling into the river okay so the bungee cord may extend too much and the person may end up falling into the river okay and that would be worth two marks now the next question says the student jumps off the bridge complete the sentences to describe the energy transfers so before the student jumps from the bridge he has a store of what energy so if he's on the bridge and he's not on the ground that means he's gonna have gravitational potential energy so gravitational potential energy when he is falling what's going to increase he's falling so the speed is going to increase so the kinetic energy is going to increase so the kinetic energy is going to increase and when the bungee cord is stretched the key word is there stretched what's going to happen it's going to increase the elastic potential energy so the elastic potential energy and that would be worth three marks next question at the lowest point in the jump when the student is stationary the extension of the bungee cord is 35 meters so 35 meters the bungee cord behaves like a spring with a spring constant of 40 newtons per meter you need to calculate the energy stored in the stretched bungee cord so we have the equation half k e squared so half k e squared where k is the spring constant and e is the extension so we need to substitute in our values we have the correct units meters and newtons per meter so it's going to be half k which is the spring constant 40 and it's going to be the extension squared so it's going to be 35 squared okay so half half 40 35 squared okay so the answer would be 24,500 joules if you type it into your calculator for two marks next question the national grid ensures that the supply of electricity always meets the demand of the consumers the figure below shows how the output from fossil fuel power stations in the UK varies over a 24 hour period. Suggest so one reason for the shape of the graph between 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock on Monday. So this is Monday. 3 o'clock is approximately here and 6 o'clock is approximately here. So as you can see the total power output has increased. Now we think why has the total power output increased? Okay, so the power output has increased. You can state that the power output 
increased okay and why has it increased well it's probably because there's been an increase in the amount of electrical appliances being switched on okay so there's an increase in the amount of electrical appliances which are switched on okay and that would get you one mark okay final questions now gas fired power stations reduce their output when the demand for electricity is low so just one time on the figure above when the demand for electricity was low so when is the total power output the lowest so where is it the lowest so as you can see it's approximately from this point to this point so you could have had any value between 12 o'clock at midnight to 4 o'clock in the morning okay so any value from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock so i'm just going to write 12 o'clock okay and that will get you one more the national grid ensures that fossil fuel power stations in the UK only produce about 33% of the total electricity they could produce when operating at a maximum output. So just two reasons why. So why are we reducing the amount of fossil fuels being used? Because this saves the fossil fuels in case we need it for emergency. Okay. So it conserves the fossil fuels for emergency situations. And what else? Well, it's, it's decreased the amount of fossil fuels being used so that it reduces the environmental impact. So there is reduced environmental impact. Okay, and that would get you two marks. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And one last thing, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.